What's up, people? Now, I'm here today to inform you guys on the fact that I will be attending. I know in previous videos I said I would never go to open tryout again, right? I said that, but I am going to be attending the open tryout for the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. Now, the reason I'm attending this specific uh, open tryout, which I was very much against, as I told my agent, but I recently just got some new representation. And he's claiming to me that he has an inside scoop on, you know, he's talked to the assistant GM, he's talked to these people. And they remember me from, you know, previous years where I attended the camp and they said, oh yeah, we'd like to see him again, et cetera, et cetera. Driving down to Fort Wayne today and just gonna see what happens, man. But, um, you know, more than anything, uh, you know, with this stuff, man, you, you just, you gotta just understand that it, it, it's a it's a weird process man it's a lot of selfishness man you know you just got to get lucky with a team and kind of got to establish your dominance early so i'll try to get some footage for you guys but i'm gonna for one have this video you know going into it and then i'll do a recap at the end of you know just how i felt about it and then any feedback i get back from it i'm going to share with you guys uh just to get you some genuine uh feedback from you know these these people in these camps so i'm out let's go on another one very important very important you gotta communicate some of you guys don't know each other all right but you guys Yo, I'm back from the G League open tryout for the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. Just doing a follow-up video just to kind of give you guys a recap of my experience and anything I would suggest for you guys. So to begin with, the portion of the video I tried to give you guys, because I know you guys like to not only hear the information, but to kind of see me play. You know, I always want to show you guys what I'm capable of. For me to be trying to give you information or for people to be on YouTube, on different platforms trying to give information, it's important that you feel as a viewer that they can back it up. I know for myself, like, I, it's hard for me to listen to people if I know they can't play or they can't ball. So I wanted to get some more footage for you guys just so you could see how I was doing. But of course, my dad was on some funny stuff with this recording situation. So anyway, the tryout went well, in my opinion. I'll start here. It went well. I did very well. I had a very good team. And this is very rare in an open tryout scenario. But I had a pretty good team. We played two games in total, but it was 40 minute games. So it was two 20 minute halves. And this was probably the most time I've ever played in an open tryout, which I'm very, I cannot say anything about Fort Wayne Mad Ants on the time they give you to actually be on the court and show your worth. Now it is two games, but you get a lot of minutes. You go five in, five out, we had 10 players. So you played a total of 20 minutes for that particular game, but 40 minutes in total, which is a lot of time. 
because a lot of teams in these G League Open tryouts, for some of you guys who have been through it, they'll get you a 20 minute half and that's it, and you're done. You can play 10 minutes, and then they're like, oh, well, you know, we, you know, we, we know who we want. Sorry, guys, and that's it, <laughs> you know. So that's not really a lot of time, but this particular tryout, they give you a lot of time, so I can't complain about that. But furthermore, man, I kind of want to get into the feedback I got from that tryout. So initially, I told you guys that my agent was the one who asked me to go to this specific trial. I was very much against it because I don't believe open tryouts are a good evaluation of a player's ability or what they're capable of. And I've made it through an open trial and I still believe that an open trial is not a great way for a organization to evaluate a player, especially since I know that a lot of these organizations do private workouts. I've been to a few. They do private workouts in which they invite a select group of players, they put them through drills, they see how well they shoot, they put them in scenarios and allow them to really show what they're capable of in a small setting and actually evaluate players. So I know I've been to that. So when I go to an open tryout, I know that this ain't that. And I know that this is some money grabbing stuff that they trying to do. But anyway, next point. The, the feedback I got on it wasn't very positive. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And I'm gonna be very vulnerable with you guys as well. I'll actually, I'm making a video now, but I'll, I'll attach the message that my agent got from the assistant GM for the grand, for the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. And basically his, from his, and not, it, from him analyzing me, he basically said that he thought I was better two years ago and that I'm not as good as I used to be. Now, I'm definitely against this. I, if you're a basketball player, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 26 at the time, man, and it's just like, I'm 26 years old. I'm literally in my prime. I've become a smarter player. I've become a better player, so. The critique doesn't really affect me as much, but it's just important that I kind of give you guys this side of things so you know that everybody ain't gonna be on your side. And this goes to GMs and people of that nature. Like GMs and and coaches, certain coaches may not just feel your game. They may just say, nah, I don't, I don't think he got that. And there are a lot of players who can attest to that. There are guys who, didn't, who went undrafted, who, Obviously a team could not see their worth, but they still prospered No matter what that team thought of them They continue to build and continue to get better and then showed their worth at the end. So Guys when you get this type of critique Don't be affected by it. If you do get something like that or a team says You we don't think you're ready. Of course take it at face value, but don't let it affect you or don't allow it to uh, debilitate you in any way, shape, or form. Because honestly, it's a, at an open tryout, I've watched this guy watch us. The second game, nobody watched my team. There were no scouts, no, no, no people from the organization really watching. But the first game, I believe he was watching. I did very well the first game, so I don't even know where his critique came from. And we beat the team by 40. So, like I said, man, you, you just gotta take it for what it is. But uh, more than anything, man, we're just gonna continue the journey. I'm gonna let you guys just follow it no matter which way it goes. But I'm out, man. My camera battery about to die, but uh, make sure you guys give me any feedback or any type of video you guys want me to do, let me know. And I'll see what I can do about it. But I'm out, stay up.